You ready, Nan? Yeah, lovely. Oh. Okay. You come up and show me a video. Yeah. yeah. Come up and show me a video, ain't ya? Yeah. Been on your holidays? I have. Ah. Been on your holidays and you come up and show me a video, ain't ya? Yeah. Oh, you are a good boy. <laughs> How much longer does this shit go on for? <laughs> Nan, it's my travel diary from India. Sorry. Yeah, that looks like you! <laughs> it is. Oh, don't it look like you! It is me. Oh, look at that, you're on the telly. <laughs> oh, you're on the telly, Sam. <laughs> don't you look short. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that stood next to you? Yeah? That's Tom. I met him at the youth hostel. Oh, God help us. <laughs> Look, Nan, that's Varanasi in the Ganges. Oh, yeah. It's a holy bathing place for Hindus. Your mate Tom looks like he's having a good time. Nan, it was a very spiritual place. Yeah, we used to have Indian woman live near us years ago. Bombay Mary, we used to call her. <laughs> She was a handsome woman, couldn't do enough for you. We loved her. She'd make big pots of curry and rice and lay it all up on a trestle table and sell it out the front of her house. People would queue for miles and she'd make these great big crisps and all. Poppadoms? <laughs> That's it. Oh, there was everything you could think of. Oh, it was rotten. <laughs> You'd be spewing your guts up for days. Of course, you couldn't say anything, though, in case you put a fucking spell on you. Man. Who's that, then? I don't know. I'll go and find out. <sighs> I'll have a look. <laughs> Little fat Buddha. <laughs> Nan, uh, this is Pam. She's just moved in upstairs. Hi. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Oh, how lovely you to drop in. Yeah, cos I've heard the doorbell go and I said to him I wondered who that could be, but you moved upstairs, have you, darling? Yeah, old Lena used to live there. God rest her soul. <laughs> Never mind. You'll like it up there, darling. It's a beautiful flat. It's my grandson, Jamie. He's not gay. <laughs> <coughs> Tom's just a friend. <laughs> I've just been backpacking. Now yes, you don't need to know that. <laughs> oh, I went backpacking. What a laugh. I went everywhere. I just didn't want to come home. Oh, there's nothing like travelling the world, making friends anyway. I just popped down to say hello, show my face. See, as we're going to be neighbours. <laughs> What's that lady saying? <laughs> I just thought I should introduce myself, seeing as how I'm living upstairs. Can't make it out. <laughs> I suppose you're one of them illegal immigrants, is she? No. Oh, you come over on a lorry, love. <laughs> you and your old street. Oh. oh, I do feel for you, sweetheart. Never mind. You're better off here. That's it. I bet there's fucking mobs of them up there. <laughs> Nan, Pam's from Scotland. Oh, Scotch, is it? They like a shant. <laughs> Can I get you anything, darling? Oh, no, thank you. I'm not stopping. I've got the removal men downstairs. <clears throat> Shots bowl of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> Another time, maybe. I've really got to dash. Something about kilts. <laughs> Right. OK, well, bye. Are you going, darling? Oh, all right, then, you know, Brigadoon. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by, sweetheart. You know where I am now, love, eh? Maybe see it tomorrow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking liberty! <laughs> She wasn't drunk. She was going to turn violent and all, weren't she? 
You were sitting her eyes. No, she wasn't. She was frothing at the fucking mouth! <laughs> You'd have had it on your toes, wouldn't you, eh? A bit lively. You'd have been down them stairs and out of it while I'm up here on my own being wrestled to the ground by fucking Braveheart! <laughs> And come on, sit down. God blimey, this ain't still on, is it? Well, you don't have to watch it. What's she doing there? That's me and Tom practising Ashtanga yoga. You dirty fucking puffed up. After her husband of nine days was electrocuted on death row in his Texan penitentiary, Elaine Figgis was conned out of five and a half thousand pounds over the internet by a spice seller from Luxor Temple. <laughs> Unlucky in love, Elaine has now decided she wants to have a baby. I think it's a drive with women, inbuilt, the desire to nurture, to give love. And let's face it, Tanya, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Some days I can hear my biological clock ticking so loud it scares me. <laughs> oh, that's not me. <laughs> so who are you going to have a baby with? Well, I was hoping it would be my last boyfriend, Donald. He was great, Donald, if a tad violent. Man of very few words, and most of those were swears. <laughs> but sadly, he felt his time on Earth was better spent with Linda from the pine shop. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I wouldn't mind one like that. So you're looking for a black pot, then? Unlike a lot of people on this street, Tanya, I'm not a racist. I'll have anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, it's 2006. Who needs a man to have a baby? Well, presumably you're not capable of producing your own sperm. Do you mind not saying that word? It goes right through me. <laughs> no, admittedly, I will have to have a donation of some description. I did ask my great pals, Michael and Gordon, you know, or the, the boys, as I like to call them, if they'd ever fancied a baby, but apparently they're getting a shih tzu from a trolley dolly in Tring. <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> whether you're a mother or whether you're a brother, you're staying alive, staying alive. Feel the city breaking and everybody shaking, and we're staying alive, staying alive. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> staying alive, staying alive. Morning, Georgie. How was your weekend, Pet? Oh, it was lovely, thank you. We took Michaela to see the new Disney film. Did our asthma make it a dismal night for all concerned? I <laughs> know uh, that's, that's cleared up now. Oh, I'm delighted for you. That's champion news. Because there's nothing worse than trying to concentrate on a film and having the person next to you selfishly gasping for a... <laughs> your nice stainless steel pencil sharpener? Um, I'm sure, yeah. I'll tell you what it is. Me and some of the other girls down at the Tyne and Weir Choral Society are doing a sponsored sing-a-thon. Oh, right. Uh, another fundraiser. <laughs> We're singing the hits of Andrew Lloyd Webber, past and present, 24 hours a day, for the next fortnight. <laughs> folk in the northeast area who suffer with obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> I've never met anyone with obsessive compulsive disorder. That's because they're locked in the bathroom 14 hours a day. <laughs> washing the shite off their hands. Really? If you don't believe me, log on to the website. www.christ I've left the iron on. <laughs> Co.uk forward slash no I haven't forward slash as I have. <laughs> what shall I put you down for? Uh, uh, well, three pounds a week. Six pounds? <laughs> Six pounds? 
to sing I don't know how to love him <laughs> on a continual loop <laughs> for a fortnight. Um, all right, uh, £3.50 a week. Seven pounds? I don't think you've quite grasped the gravity of the situation, Mark. <laughs> Did you know that every 38 minutes, one of those poor little half-wits who's flown off on the holiday of a lifetime touches down and then has to fly straight home again cos he's got a niggling feeling he's left the top off the shaken vac? <laughs> seven pounds is all I can afford. Seven pounds it is then, pet. I've had an expensive month, Georgie. Let's say no more about it, cos I wouldn't want it to come between us, Pat. Best of luck with the singathon. <laughs> Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're in Pudsey. We're in Pudsey, cos our Jackie's married a Spaniard. Don't ask. She's only known him three months, but she's pushing 42 and beggars can't be choosers. Especially our Jackie. Any road, we're at the reception. What do they call that place? La Ventana. This is in Pudsey. La Ventana. So we shake hands with Jackie and Enrique. Not a dicky bird about the sombrero we sent him. And we've sat down on a table next to the scumsorp lot. Again? Right next to the water feature, so I'm nipping to the ladies every five minutes cos my blood is not what it was. They don't need to know that. Any room. You get a choice for your first course. Listen to this. Parma ham with melon balls. Calamari. And what do they call it? Gaspacho. Give me strength. So I said I'd have the parma ham with melon balls because they take out the parma ham because it makes the melon taste salty. And Ray said he'd have the gaspacho. Famous last words. So anyway, first course arrives. Bear in mind, all we've had is a sausage roll and a sticky bun on the M6 toll road. And you'll never guess what it was. This gaspacho business. You couldn't make it up. Cold tomato soup. Tomato soup. Cold. Soup. Tomato. Cold. They couldn't even be asked to warm it up. Ray went ape. The dirty bastards. We couldn't believe it, could we? That's not all. Tell them what we're floating on top. Croutons. Stale bread, basic. Just when you think you've seen it all. Tiny bits of stale bread. On cold tomato soup. This is in Pudsey. The dirty, evil, lazy bastards. <laughs> Continuing her quest to have a baby, Elaine is visiting a sperm bank. Oh, he sounds interesting. Oh, he's a jockey. They're tiny. He's a disc jockey. Mm. Remember Diddy David Hamilton? <laughs> oh, look, he's six foot one. Oh, glasses. I don't think so. <laughs> have you got any nice coffee-coloured ones? We have black donors, yes. Oh, AX3902. Oh, oh, no, he sounds perfect. BSC from Doncaster. I've been to Doncaster. The accent grates on me. <laughs> Your baby wouldn't necessarily have a Doncaster accent. <laughs> but can I take that risk, Amelia? <laughs> Don't blame it on sunshine. <laughs> Blaming on the good time. Blaming on the boogie. Do you know what time I'm going up to physio? I just can't. I just can't. I just can't control my face. Oh, it's a grand day today, Mr. Anderson. Well, why is that then? My sisters are coming over from Ireland. Brenda and Bridie. They are the bollocks. <laughs> You've got sisters, have you? Are they like you? 
Oh, God, no, no. Our Brenda's is the right party animal and our bridey's a whore. <laughs> I'm the quiet one. Uh, is there any chance of checking what time I'm going up to physio? I'm in the mood for <laughs> dancing. Romancing. Ooh, I'm giving it all tonight. They're here. Where are you? In here in Ward 9 with a dirty great ride. <laughs> She's ever seen. I suppose they are. Have you, have you any idea what time I'm going up to physio? Brenda, Bridie, this is Jack. How's, How's it going? going? Oh, oh, I've got suspected DVT. <laughs> <laughs> God, you must put it about a bit. Actually, it's deep vein thrombosis. I got it on a long-haul flight from Australia. I got it on a short-haul flight to Cork, but then again, I'm a very fast mover. <laughs> So what was it like? Down under? <laughs> yeah, it was a great experience. I spent a lot of time in the bush. <laughs> Jack, you're outrageous! I can't believe you just said that! I really think it might be time for me to go up to my physio. Oh, will you calm yourself down? It's not for ages yet. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just get my head down. Me <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, your left back's playing the Yellow Rose of Texas. Is it? Oh, God. Oh, that'll be sister. Come on, it's time to do the dinner round. Oh, can we tag along? Oh, God, yeah, it's a great crack. Especially when you do the anorexics. Because they have, like, just one pay, and then you can keep the rest for yourselves. <laughs> That's brilliant. Have you got enough for five? Five? What are you talking about? We've got a surprise for you. Tell me now, you whores. <laughs> Our Seamus and Paddy are here. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> it's been six months since we last saw Elaine. And there's been some good news. It was the happiest day of my life. The morning I woke up and realised I'd missed my monthlies. So who's the father? A strawberry blonde web designer, whatever that is, <laughs> called Marcus. Very posh. His tourist for Sagittarius Rising appreciates sculpture and can't get enough of desperate housewives. So <laughs> I'm not actually seeing a photo of him, but. I like to think he looks something like this. <laughs> How far along are you? About six months, thereabouts. You're not showing? Not on the outside, no. On the inside, I'm huge. My mum was the same with me, you know, flat as a pancake, right through the pregnancy, and then I popped out. I was over a foot long. <laughs> My nickname was Footlong Thickest. My auntie Pearl still calls me footy, which can be a little bit confusing, you know, if I'm stood next to a football. <laughs> Do you like my mobile? <laughs> and the checkups and scans, they're all going OK, are they? Don't really bother with all that, to be honest with you. You know, but baby's fine, you know, I can feel it in my waters. I can feel it in my uterus, really. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought of any names yet, Elaine? I was thinking about Mandy for a girl, you know, after Barry Manilow. <laughs> and if it's a boy, maybe something royal, you know, possibly Fergie. I see you've bought a pram already. Got it off eBay. It's a bit of a nightmare, actually, because, you know, it's got a tendency to veer left, you know. It just won't go right, so... If I want to go right, I have to come full circle, face the direction I want to go. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm not sure if that was a contraption. 
Really? So soon? No, you're right. It was last night's Bacara. <laughs> Sorry. A good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice, nice to see you. Miss Langford, <laughs> Miss Langford. Yes? If you could just sign it to Derek and Leonard with a great big showbiz kiss, love, Bonnie, that would be great. <laughs> we thought the show tonight was out of this world. And what were you doing all that skating week in, week out? Thank you. We voted for you 38 times. Oh. Uh, sorry, to Derek and... Leonard, dear. I've got a lot of gay fans. <laughs> I beg pardon? I said I've got a lot of gay fans. Have you? <laughs> what exactly has that got to do with the price of mauve eggs, dear? Well, you and Leonard, so... What on earth are you insinuating? <laughs> gay fans? Me and Leonard? How very day. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't mean to offend you. I'll just sign the book, Ginger. <laughs> I just assumed that you were... Gay, dear, do oh dear, me, dear, no, oh dear. <laughs> just because a man is partial to an evening in a musical theatre and doesn't shy away from a chest wax, <laughs> you assume he likes his shopping dropped off round the back? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being gay, you know. 25 years my mother and I have been following your career and you come out with this. Well, I find you and your splits impertinent. <laughs> come on, Leonard, we're off. Gay fans? How very dare you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Who I... <laughs> shall I put this to? And Neil. Thank you. Excuse me, dear. If you see Scylla, would you get a scribble on that? Thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine is ten days overdue, and there's still no sign of baby Figgis. How are you feeling, Elaine? Oh, if it doesn't come soon, I think I'll drag it out myself. <laughs> no, I mean, I wouldn't. I have to say, Elaine, you're still remarkably small for nine months. Is everything OK? Is that a new haircut, Sonia? Elaine, this is a difficult question. Oh, it's not long division, is it? Because I'm hopeless at that. <laughs> Are you really pregnant? Pregnant in what sense, Tonya? Well, the biological sense. No. Do you want to talk about it, Elaine? I don't think so, thank you. Can you believe it? I asked him for a chili chimichanga burger, extra gherkin, extra cheese, extra burger. What did he give you, mate? Chili chimichanga burger, extra gherkin, extra cheese, extra burger, and an egg. <laughs> Muppet. All right. All right. <laughs> Lauren, there's something I need to ask you. You know that, like, we've been, like, you know, for about a year now. What, mate? We're, like, going out. Oh, my God. In it now. Well, the thing is, I've been thinking, and, like, you ain't all that, but the thing is that I've been thinking, <laughs> like, maybe we could, like, get... Oh, my God! Oh, my God, though! Oh, my God, is he going down on one knee, though? Oh, my God, is he going down on one knee, though? He's going down on one knee, though. Lauren. Is it? You want to get hitched up, mate? <gasps> Getting wed. No, but you... is it that you want to get hitched up? That is well bad. <laughs> Are you saying that you didn't mean it, though? Of course I didn't mean it. 
Well, she thought you were... I can't get married. That is so drammy. I did it for a bet, though. Getting married. I can't get married. I've got to concentrate on my... <laughs> Beatboxing and stuff. Getting married. Well, bad. <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you all right, though? Yeah, I'm sweet. I've made. But you thought he wanted to marry you. No, I didn't. But he was having a bet, mate. Yeah, well, so was I, mate. Who with me? Right, are you saying I'll never get married? No, I'm just... Are you saying I'll never get married, though? What? Are you saying I'm going to die alone? No. Are you saying I'm going to be miserable my whole life? No. What? Are you calling me ugly? What? <laughs> Sister, though. No, I no, but I don't even care. Yeah, but you. No, thought... but I don't even care, mate. But he proposed to you as a joke, and you said yes, and you said it was the happiest day of your life, and then he left you stood here like a numpty. <laughs> Am I bothered? Yeah, but he. I'm bothered, though. But you. But I ain't even bothered, though. You. But I ain't even bothered. But you were excited. Bothered. No, I wasn't, though. Yeah, but you got up and did a dance, though. Yeah, I was going to do that anyway. No, you weren't, mate. I was, though. I was just busting some moves. Mate, come no, on. No, because I was just busting some moves, though. Take the shame. No, because I ain't even bothered. Yes, you are, No, though. I ain't even bothered. Do you I look bothered? Are... Sorry, do yeah. I look bothered? Look at my face, right? What? Look at my face. No, you ain't looking at my face. So look at my face. Look at my face, right? No, just look at my face. Look at my face. Is any part of my face bothered? Does my face look bothered? Yeah. Right, are you blind? Mate, come Right, on. are you a blind person? No. Right, just... is it that you can't see? What? Right, do you read with your fingers? <laughs> do you read with your fingers, though? Mate, come right, on. Right, do you listen to books? Mate. Is David Blunkett your dad? <laughs> is it that you can take your dog into Marks and Spencer's? Oh, mate. I was just saying, can you sing the blues? No. Look, mate, face bothered, Blunkett, just... face bothered. Come on. I ain't bothered. <laughs> Look, face bothered, Gherkin's mate, bothered, where did oh. face, David Blunkett, Quasar, what? I ain't bothered. <laughs> Do you want to get wet? <laughs>